A brazen string of break-ins on Staten Island. As CBS News' Andrea Grimes reports, police are warning the public about suspects who have been targeting homes and cars. Under the cover of darkness, but in view of security cameras, watch as one of the suspects threw a huge stone through a home's back door. Police say the group broke in, then took off with a set of car keys when a resident inside started yelling. The NYPD says it happened Monday around 3.30 in the morning near Benedict Road and Callan Avenue in the Tote Hill section of Staten Island. They allegedly tried to steal two cars outside, but were unsuccessful. Wow. I mean, if they want to get in, they're going to get in. I mean, without a doubt. The brazen break in and three others investigators say are connected have left Staten Island residents on edge. I'm just hoping I'm home because I have three daughters I worry about. On Sunday, June 12th, just after 3 a.m., police say two suspects tried to get into the back door of a home near Otavio Promenade and Page Avenue in Tottenville, but the door was locked. A few minutes later, in nearby Prince's Bay, the same suspects allegedly tried to get in another back door, but a female resident saw and saw started screaming and they took off. About a half hour later, police say the duo threw a rock through a first floor window at a home near St. George Road and Lighthouse Avenue in Lighthouse Hill. They allegedly stole car keys and took off with a Rolls Royce in the driveway. That homeowner told us he was able to track the car and get it back in Newark, New Jersey. Meantime, later today, the Staten Island District Attorney, Borough President, and the NYPD are holding a news conference to warn residents about all of this. In Toad Hill, Staten Island, Andrea Grimes, CBS 2 News.